Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can add a material resource and show it being used up during the day or whatever period you have got. So first of all, a small project on the screen called Develop Strategy, a few tasks, no resources. So let's go and create some resources. So I'll just create a few people, work resources. So Bob, Bill, Ben. And then I'll, I'll have some paint, which will be a material resource. I'll just tap across and type the letter M. That will be material. And then we'll have paper, which will also be material. And those are the two that I'll use to consume during a period. Now let's give these guys some money. So let's say they're on 10 pound an hour and 15 pound overtime. Now, every time we use a tin of paint, I'm going to say it's going to cost one pound. Likewise, with a pack of paper, that's going to cost one pound. Now, what you've got with material, you can have a material label. So I'll put that as tins and I'll put that as pack. So that's what will appear on the Gantt chart. So that's everything set up. So now I'll go back to the Gantt chart and allocate resources. So just move this across a little bit. Different ways of doing this, but I normally go through the resource tab and assign resources. Then you see the list of resources and you can allocate onto different tasks, individuals and equipment. So quad teams, I'll just call that, I'll just assign um, Ben to that. Train teams, I'll assign Bill and Bob to that. And develop product, I'll assign Ben to that one as well. Now I'm watching out for any over allocated resources as I'm doing this. So test, I'll say Bill and Ben have to do that. Now I've got a problem. What I'll do is I'll fix that in a second. Market product can be Bob and sell product can also be Bob. So there's a bit of a clash here with these two. What I'm going to do is just level resources. In fact, I'll level all just to see where it shifts it to. So that's corrected it. I'm okay with that. It sorted it out. Um, I don't need to change any of this. But now equipment. So on developed product, let's say that they use paint. I'm going to assign paint and then I'm going to assign paper. Now at the moment, it's just coming in as one pound. Now at the moment, if, if I leave it as that, that's just one pound for one tin. But I want this to show one pound per hour so one tin per hour and same with the paper so what you have to do in the units area is you just go one forward slash hr which is a duration and then that should change to eight pound well not eight pound that eight pound per day so that's obviously more than a one day tasks so that's gone all the way across for the, all the days so this would be the same one forward slash hr for hour i'm going to use one pack of paper per hour and over that period that's what that's cost if I do the same again for test product I'll assign paint and paper and then do the, the same thing one per hour so that'll go to eight pound a day and that's a total for all that duration that's eight days eight eights to 64 by my reckoning one per hour again and then that should change over to 64 as well so it's basically eight pound per day because there's eight hours in the day i've not changed the default settings and then times the duration so in this case eight days that one's five days that one's five days so i click onto that that's what it's doing five eights is 40 so it's working it correctly that's basically how you can set it up so it shows consumables from your material and i haven't got the actual resource if i just double click on this side i can put resource names to the left maybe so resource group i want resource names which is the default on the left and then you can see that and it's a bit cluttered all the people so all the information that's in here is now sitting on the gantt chart i don't really, i don't really want that actually it's too much so i'm just going to Double click again, get rid of that, delete resource names off. 
So we don't have that. We just have the task names, which is the word name. I can close this and you notice this box didn't disappear when I did that. This is floats. So you're either on the task and this is grayed out slightly or you're on this and this is active. It's, it's, you can leave this open, but I'll finish with it now. So I'll just close that off. And that's all I want to talk about in this little video. How you can show resources being used over a time period. In this case, one pound per hour. That's the cost of it. And then it was over several days. So it was either 40 pound uh, or £64, depending on the duration. So hopefully it's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.